The deadly Decatur police shooting of Steve Perkins has many wondering what is common practice for car repossessions in the state of Alabama. Way 31's Matty McCaffrey joins us now live in the studio after speaking with a retired repo man. And Matty, he gave you some insight into what is standard practice for these car repossessions. Yeah, Dan, I spoke with Steve Andrews, who repossessed cars for more than a decade, and he tells me anyone who works in the industry should leave if somebody tries to stop a car repossession on their property, and that if police show up during a repossession, then according to the law, that repo is over. So if somebody comes out legally in Alabama, if somebody comes out, and I'm, it may be nationwide, but, but if somebody comes out and objects to the repossession, technically, they can go back in the house and you have to leave without that vehicle. And you can come back five minutes later, and I've done that. In terms of the deadly Decatur police shooting of Steve Perkins, Andrew says that it puzzles him as to why the tow truck driver fled from the scene when Perkins allegedly threatened him with a handgun, but then returned with Decatur police. It's a tragic situation, yeah. and, and I, don't know, I don't know anything about the shooting part. I don't know a thing in the world about the police and the shooting part, but to me, the police should have never been called. If the repo man called, he should have never done that. He, I don't know what he was thinking he's going to do. Evidently, he don't know the, the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act that tells you if the police show up, the repo is over. Either he don't know or he don't care. Now, Leah's investigation into the deadly Decatur police shooting of Steve Perkins is ongoing. No update on where they are at with their investigation. And the Decatur Police Department is conducting an internal investigation to see if any of their policies were violated. Reporting live in studio, Maddie McCaffrey, Wait 31 News.